Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I want to show you a really amazing trick to go from this picture to that look. And you can do that in seconds. It's super easy. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Now, this effect, this look, actually comes from one of my community members. I have a Facebook group that you should join over 2000 amazing people talking about photo editing all day long. And the member who suggested is Ian Brownie. You can see here that he wrote a little description on how to do that, showed a before and after. And of course, I asked him if I can use that for the tutorial. He said yes. So this is all legit and good. Another thing I want to point out to you is that I'm actually also on Instagram if you want to follow me there. There. I show you my newest creations there and also you've seen me do this edit in my live stream. I improved it a little bit since then. I even posted some detailed pictures. So check me out on Instagram. Let's get started with the tutorial. So I want to show you what Ian is doing and then I want to show you my version which is a little bit improved actually. All right. So what he's doing, let's delete all of this here, is that he says open up any kind of picture you want. To be honest, I think it works best on these kind of industrial looking pictures, but you can try it with any other picture you like. So his steps are as follows. Click on your image layer and right click on it actually. Select duplicate so you make a copy of that layer as you can see here. And then we want to go to the blend mode multiply like this and set the opacity to 70%. This already looks pretty cool. You could stop here if you want to, but we are going to go deeper today. So the next thing he suggests is to use an adjustment for black and white like so. And then we want to set our blend mode to color burn and reduce the opacity to 44% like so. And this is giving us the look, but I think we can do a little bit better because first of all, by duplicating the image, it only works on that image. But I want to have something that's more versatile that I can use on any image in seconds. And the second one is while color burn is doing this very nice gritty effect here, I also get these kind of not so nice edges with this kind of hue around it. So I want to get rid of that. I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, let's delete these layers and the first thing is a little trick you can do in Affinity Photo. If you create an adjustment layer, for example, curves or any kind of other adjustment layer, by the way, and don't do any kind of adjustments in it and then set it to another blend mode like multiply, this works like a duplicate of the image. So again, let's set this to opacity 70% and we get actually the same result as before. Okay, so far so good. Now the next step we're going to do like iron. So we're going to go and create an adjustment for black and white and set this also to color burn and 44% like so. But now because we have this kind of color effect here, what you can do is that you want to adjust these sliders here. Now, you want to look a little bit at the picture, what kind of colors are in there, what kind of things can I influence without influencing the rest of it. So we are seeing here we have some yellow tones, we have some orange tones, maybe even some red tones. So don't touch these two sliders here and we want to influence the blue color so we can use these two sliders here. So I'm going to turn this down and I'm going to turn this down and now look at the background. Now this is soft. We don't have this kind of blue shimmer in here and the picture looks nice but has the same effect on it. And here's another adjustment I would suggest you do. That is to go down here to adjustments, create a white balance adjustment and you might have I've never seen that but there's actually a little picker down here. You can click on that and now your mouse turns into a picker and click on something that you think is either white or gray. So I would click here and you can see this warms up my image, gives it a bit more natural touch and you can either use the white balance to make it a little bit cooler again or you can use the opacity to mix it with the underlying effects. So you also cool it down a little bit if you want to. So that is your choice. And this is the first way to do it. But 
I want to show you a second way to do that. So again, let's delete everything we have done so far and we create again our, um, sorry, we create again our adjustment for curves and we set that to multiply and we go with 70%. You have seen me do this multiple times so far. So that far that easy. Now the next step that I'm going to do is to go instead of a black and white adjustment, I'm going with an HSL adjustment. Look what this does. So I'm setting this up for the blend mode color burn and then 44% as you know already, but you can actually move the opacity around and see how deep you want to go with that effect. So it's up to your choice what kind of result you want to have. So let's keep this at 34% for now. And now to get rid of this color cast here in the background, what I'm going to do is I'm hue shifting the image over to the left side as far as it goes, boom, like that, minus 180%. And you can see now, I still have this color burn effect eating into my blend, into my gradient here, but I don't have this kind of blue hue, this kind of blue grow, uh, glow in there. So see that? This is the usual thing. And I move this over and I've removed that. And of course, again, if you want to, you can create a white balance, use your color picker here, boom, and now the picture is a little bit warmer. And the cool thing, like I said, you can just save this as a template or as a master file and then just use it on any other picture by replacing the picture you have already in there. So for example, I go to another picture like this and you can see this is my original picture and this is the changed look. Now what you want to do here is to adjust this one here. The color burn has a pretty high effect here. So let's put this down to let's say 20% like so. And then you might even want to turn off the white balance. And as you can see now, we have a pretty cool effect on a different picture without the need to set up all the adjustment layers. So that's it for today. Maybe even join my Facebook group or follow me on Instagram or even subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free, you know. I don't know what kind of crazy things you're doing, but have fun and stay safe. Wish you a good day and see you soon. Bye.